Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply, and today we're going to be putting together a monster pump from WVO Designs. This is our 12 gallon per minute model, and it's built specifically for handling really thick oils such as vegetable oil, cold motor oil, gear oil, and such. And so we'll show you how we're going to put it together. To get started, we've got a motor and the pump head, and then we've got some couplers and the bolts and screws. The tools that you need to put this together uh, that are handy, I got a uh, rubber mallet, I've got a pipe, which you'll understand why in a little bit later. Nothing special about this pipe, it's just a, a long pipe that I can grip with. I've got a number 10 um, open-ended wrench. I've got a 7 30 seconds um, Allen wrench, and I've got a three millimeter uh, Allen wrench as well. And then we've got all the parts that come with the pump, and so uh, we'll get started and put this together. The first thing we're going to do to put this together is put the handle on. You're going to need the motor, the handle, and the bolt to mount the handle to it. So we'll turn this sideways and get started. This just comes right out, it just comes with the pump. Uh, let's set this at an angle here so you can see what I'm doing. And then this handle just goes right on the top. And you uh, line it up with this. One thing I found that was helpful is I took the screw that went in it, and because there's some paint on there, I took my 7 30 seconds wrench and I just kind of screwed it down and cleaned that thread out. Uh, so that's it's a little helpful. Once you got that out of the way, go ahead and mount this handle on the top here. Put the bolt in. Get that lined up with your hole. One of the things that's handy is this uh, handle has a hole right through the top to put this down. Once you get down so far, it's going to get a little bit difficult to put this together. And so this is where my pipe comes in handy. I found that it was easy to get a pipe and put it on the end of this thing. And turn it. And it lets me tighten that up really good. So that's the first part, putting the handle on. The second part we're going to deal with is putting the coupler on the front end of this. There's going to be a ring that comes with it. You'll take that ring off of the motor and there will be a uh, shaft coupler that's in here. This is where this rubber mallet comes in handy. You can just make sure that's in good and tight and nice and flush. And then we'll put our coupler on. These couplers are 14 millimeters. Uh, both sides, one for the motor, one for the pump head, and they go on fairly easily. To put the coupler on, you line up the notch with this piece here and push it on. And I found it helpful to get a rubber mallet and just tap that thing in. Now, you don't want to bring it in too far, you just want to get this kind of flush this little piece is sticking out a little bit. We don't really want it sticking through uh, because we don't want it getting in the way of our rubber gear. So again, I'm just tapping this until that's flush. There we are. Okay, now I'm leaving everything loose on the set screws and I'm doing that on purpose so that once I put the pump together, if I've got this too close, I can move it around. So don't tighten your locking uh, your set screws until everything's together. Okay, at this point, we put our rubber piece in there. And now it's time to work on the pump head. The pump head will also come with a key to go inside this shaft. It's loose and so you have to put it in. And I found it helpful to use the uh, end of this hammer just to knock it in and make sure it was in. And I've got mine good and flush with this that piece right there. So now I'm going to take my shaft coupler and I'm just going to push it on. 
this one seemed to be a little bit easier fit. And again, you don't want to put it too tight. Right in here, there's a bolt that's sticking down and a bolt there. And you don't want to get it past those or too close to those bolts because otherwise this coupler is going to interfere with those bolts. So I've got it just kind of on loose. And my next step will be to mate it up to this motor and then get an idea where everything is and then uh, we'll attach this tight to the motor and then we'll go ahead and adjust the couplers if need be. Okay, with my motor on its side, I'm ready to mount this up to the, ready to mount the pump head up to the motor. You're going to use the four bolts that came with it and make sure that your coupler's on and again, loose and loose. Nothing's tight at this point. I just want to make sure I can mate everything up and then we'll worry about tightening everything. Okay, this will slide right onto the motor. And you adjust the, turn the shaft until you get it set. And then mount your screws into the holes. And at this point, we're not really tightening the screws. We're just getting a loose fit. Okay, once your motor and your pump head are mounted together, now you can go ahead and tighten these up. And then we'll adjust our uh, couplers. This is a number 10 wrench. And just tighten it down tight. Okay, with everything in place, now you can adjust any of the play on this. And I found it helpful to use just one of these to move that coupler around. Now you don't want it snug right exactly against, but you want it tight enough that you don't see a whole lot of daylight through there. Uh, so I'm just snugging mine up pretty good there. That looks good. And I'm gonna rotate that shaft, make sure that Nothing is binding. And then I'll tighten everything up. Okay. These bolts are a number three millimeter wrench. The set screws there. I'll show you a trick I found. Years ago, if you grab the end of a wrench, and get a hold of this. See how that works? You can use that to tighten those up. Okay, that's it. Pumps all together and ready to go. Um, we recommend that you put a little bit of oil in the gears in here before you use it, just to lube things up the first time. It comes with uh, one and a quarter inch fittings that mate right up to our one and a quarter inch hose. Uh, you want to Teflon tape these before you screw them in, but they're they're threaded and they'll fit right in that, those ports. If you don't want to use our fittings, you can always use other fittings as well. Um, and you'll have a pump that's uh, ready to go. This pump is kind of nice because it's got a handle on it. And this handle really makes for hauling this thing around easy. It's nice and heavy duty. We'll back out here a bit and show you. You can grab it here. It's weighted really nice because it's a little bit front heavy. So that just really works well to grip that with. And of course you can always grip it this way too. The pump itself has a switch right here for power and of course your power cord. Just plug that in and now uh, we're ready to go. If you'd like more information on it, visit our website at Utah Bio Diesel Supply, uh, utahbio.com. We'll see you later.